Hello, this is Dennis. I just read an article in the CPI magazine on the controlled curing of concrete pavers and on my way to see the Quadrix curing system from Kraft Curing. Dennis arrives at Gottelman Concrete Factory near Regensburg, Germany. Gottelman relies on the Quadrix curing system, not only in one, but in two production lines. The first Quadrix system is in operation since 2013. The second is near completion. This is a chance for Dennis to see what Quadrix is all about. Michael Kraft, managing director of Kraft Curing, manufacturer of Quadrix, invites Dennis into the nearly completed Quadrix curing chamber. So this is Quadrix? Yes, Quadrix is installed in this curing rack supplied by Kraft Curing to Godelman Concrete Factory. So what is Quadrix? Quadrix is a concrete curing system made up of four components. The first component is insulation to prevent condensation and reduce energy costs to the absolute minimum. So the result of not insulating my house would be high energy costs and mold? Exactly. The second component is air circulation, by which we can guarantee plus or minus one degree Celsius throughout the entire curing chamber, top to bottom and front to back. Without air circulation, the bottom of the chamber is more than 10 degrees cooler than the top, causing the color of the pavers cured at the bottom to be darker than those at the top. In addition, pavers near the bottom are softer and weaker than those at the top, which, when shot blasting in line, causes surface inconsistency between the softer and harder paver surfaces. So, we don't have different curing climates? Only one consistent climate throughout the chamber, top to bottom, and front to back? Exactly. The third component is the relative humidity in the curing chamber. Properly controlling the relative humidity prevents the concrete from drying out. The fourth component is the curing temperature, which allows us to accelerate the hydration of the cement in order to achieve higher early strengths than natural curing. The higher early strength allows for immediate secondary processing within 24 hours after production. The success of Quadrix is down to various design elements, including multiple vertical air distribution ducts for accurate distribution of warmth and humidity, air circulation ventilators to prevent fog in the transfer car area, and exhaust hoods over the entry and exit with heated surfaces in order to prevent heat loss and condensation. In addition to the components found inside the curing chamber, the main equipment is located outside the chamber. This includes our Quadrix air circulation and heating unit, the auto fog humidity addition system, and the electrical control cabinet. Most important, Quadrix saves money and increases product quality. In addition to reducing the curing chamber size and allowing for immediate secondary processing, it provides the opportunity to reduce cement costs. Dennis is curious. He wants to see Quadrix in action. Seeing is believing, and Michael takes Dennis into the curing chamber. After only a few seconds, our camera lens is fogged. The high humidity requires that the cooler lens be constantly dried. You can see the condensation form the high humidity on the camera. That will continue until the camera temperature equalizes. Then it will disappear. Absolutely no problem. It's nice and warm here. Once the camera has acclimatized, they walk through the racks. In the racks between the passages, we can see the vertical ducts with the adjustable air outlets for a very low air velocity at each level. It's a very, very gentle, barely noticeable airflow. Hmm, the racks, the boards, everything. Everything is dry. Everything is dry except for the concrete. Quadrix is truly exceptional as the racks, production pallets, floor and ceiling are dry. Dennis wonders, what is the humidity in the curing chamber? He finds the answer by speaking with the production manager. He can monitor and control Quadrix from the control room. 
I was in the curing chamber. Was it nice and warm? It was very warm. My question, how hot and humid is it inside the curing chamber? At the moment, we are operating at 32 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity equal to 98 percent. That is high. It is a very good climate for the hardening of concrete pavers. It looks like the system is easy to use. It doesn't need any supervision. It runs automatically. I monitor it every once in a while to check the temperature and if all components are working correctly. But really, only a glance every once in a while. Michael points out the time savings provided through Quadrix by allowing for the immediate secondary processing of pavers. So, Dennis, here you can see the difference between a paver before and after shot blasting. This paver has just left the curing chamber 24 hours after having been produced. Here you can see the surface after the paver has been shot blasted. Okay, so the magic is that the pavers can be shot blasted after 24 hours and not after three weeks? Exactly. Dennis has learned a lot today. At Gottelman, he learned that Quadric saves time and money. The pavers have a higher, more consistent quality and can be delivered earlier than usual. So, Michael, we are standing here in the show garden. Honestly, if I were a paver, I would be proud to have been produced at Gottelman and cured by the Quadric system. If I need more information, how do I find it? You can find it at www.craftcuring.com. Thank you. It was very interesting. Thank you. Ciao.